So greetings all the research scholars from the Oriental University in Dar. I am Dr. Supriya Pathak, and uh, due to some prior commi uh, commitments in the June examination 2022, I am uh, recording this lecture, and this recorded link is uh, provided in the WhatsApp uh, group. So please cooperate with uh, me. If you have any doubt, any uh, problems related this lecture, so we will uh, sort out all the problems uh, in the next lecture, where I will uh, be present uh, on a live mode. So thank you very much. So I am sharing the screen here. As in the previous class, uh, we will discuss about the uh, APS type. And in the previous class, I have uh, shared 16 slides in which uh, I have discussed about what, uh, what we can do when we, uh, we have to route, write about the book titles, when we have to write about the types of citations, types of in-text citations, what is uh, the uh, examples for writing the in-text citations. Now I will uh, continue about the general rules of pagination's and the untitled works. Along with, we will discuss uh, about the some more uh, format of the references types. So here is, uh, first we will discuss about the untitled works. So uh, what is the untitled works? Uh, works without a title should be designated with a description with a description of the uh, words in a square brackets where the title is normally placed in the reference. Include the descriptions in the brackets. For untitled social media posts on comments, use the first 20 words of the post or comment as the title and place a description of title in brackets. Here, in the section of untitled work, we are talking about the social media post references. We are talking about the bloggings, and uh, we are also talking about uh, the uh, particular LinkedIn post or a particular Twitter handle statements. So here you can see that uh, example. Admas, Admas is the name of the author, and uh, Admas is a uh, his last name. So Admas P. Dot in 2020 uh, means the year of the research study is 2020. Table showing data from the 2010 US census. So actually, this research study was conducted by the US census in 2010. And actually, uh, this data shows ab about the uh, facts, about the figures related to the U.S. census. And the author admits have conducted the research study in 2020. So when he took the reference, so we have to use the parenthesis. Okay. So this is the... Uh, opening parenthesis and this is the closing parenthesis. In the second example, you can see that TC Farm 2020. Actually, we have the date of the research study. So we have con uh, we have included the date also with using of the comma April 28th. The near collapse of the airline industry because of the coronavirus is affecting, but so far not devastating. Razor cost businesses. Actually, the uh, social media page, which is available on the Facebook, and the name of the page is Razor Cost Businesses. And here, TC Palm Facebook post. We have included the TC Palm Facebook post. So this is the example to include any comment, any reference regarding the Facebook post. Okay. So now we will discuss about the general rules for pagination. Pagination is required part of a reference to book when you only use a specific part of the book for research. 
it indicates the specific uh, position within a work at which the information to be referenced is located. Pagination is required in periodicals, but if a periodical has no page number, it may be left. Means there is a no necessity to include the page numbers if they are not having the some uh, period on it. So uh, you should make a reasonable effort to locate page numbers. They are often present in PDF documents. Uh, remember one thing, actually most of the research papers, most of the uh, general uh, generals are available in a PDF format. So you can see that uh, in the PDF, there are the uh, page number allotted and you can find that uh, the position of page number uh, in the most of the general and in the most of the books related to the research work, the position of the page number remains in the center of the page, okay? So uh, here is the some examples that what guidelines we have to follow when we are uh, doing the pagination. So in the books, if you are citing an entire book pagination is not necessary. Pagination for part of a book consists of the beginning and concluding pages of the chapter or part. Place pagination after the title and closed in parenthesis and followed by a period. Pagination follows addition and volume, volume statements when these are given. Use the abbreviations P dot. Actually, in the uh, previous lecture, I have mentioned that when we will talk about the pagination, so we have to use P dot or PP dot for more than one page. So here is the example. Mar Gearson is the author's last name, comma, C dot, 2003. The research study was conducted in 2003. The development of cardiothoracic surgical nursing, cardiothoracic surgical nursing, PP dot, 21-55. So 21-55 is the position of the article. Means between the page number 21 to uh, page number 55, we have collected the literature review from the Blackwell Science Journal. So here is the example of the pagination. So if we will talk about the general articles, so what would, uh, what, uh, would be the guidelines? So in the entire article, pagination consists of the first and the last page of the article. If the pagination is continuous, so we have to separate pages by a hyphen. If the pagination is discontinuous, separate groupings of page numbers by a comma and space. If the publication has no page numbers, leave out pagination. Retain page numbers as they appear in the publications. As, like here you can see that ninth V dash V I I. So V uh, dash V I I, that means V shows number fifth, fifth to seventh. Actually, you can see that V and V I I representing the Roman numbers. So V to V I I. N three thirty and thirty seven dash and forty nine, comma two thirty s dash two fifty two s. So here are the retained page numbers as they appeared in the publication. So you can write this. Place pagination information after the volume issue, preceded by a comma. Like here is the example. Landau, comma, act, 2010, comma, September. Winning grants, a game plan, American libraries, comma, 41. And 
in the brackets we are using nine. Nine shows the article number and thirty four to thirty six. So here is the example of the general articles. Now we will talk about the newspapers. Then we have to give the uh, references about the research studies. Which are taking from the newspaper, so we can uh, take the examples like that. Paginations differs in a newspaper articles. Preceding the page numbers with P dot or P P dot, you would with books write the page numbers same as they appear in the newspaper. Most newspapers use a number and a section letter. Here is the example. A one one at B five dash B seven semicolon one D dash two D comma seven D. Okay, so if the pagination is continuous, you have to separate the pages by hyphen. If the pagination is discontinuous, you have to separate groupings of page numbers by a comma and a space. You have to actually uh, make the practice. About the comma and the space, when we will write about the literature review. If the publication has no page numbers, leave out pagination. Here is the example. You can see that Roy, comma R dot, comma Gracia, comma J dot, comma and Kennedy, comma J dot in two thousand five, and the study was conducted in July twelfth. Dennis trail of destruction, Pandal sustains pockets of destruction, at least four dead. So actually, this is the particular headline of the newspaper. So we will write uh, the name: the Orlando Sentinel, page A one. So this is the examples. of the newspapers when we will cite particular heading of the newspaper so we will use this kind of format now we will talk about the bracketed descriptions means the we are using uh, the open bracket and the closed brackets we are using this kind of big bracket so what these kind of bracket describes in the literature review now we will study use brackets to describe information not normally found in academic literature and non text based items so here is the examples like video art etc to help the reader locate the material place the description in a square bracket after the title capitalize the first word only and end with a period so here you can see the examples of the bracketed description letter to the editor so uh letter to the editor we are using the uh, big bracket special issues computer software data set brochure motion picture lecture notes and supplemental material and also we are uh, including here the video so here you can take the examples like mallory ga in 2010 november december actually uh, the issue was uh, published or broadcasted in november december professional nursing societies and evidence based practices strategies to cross the quality tabs so here you can see that this was a special issue so with the help of big brackets we have already mentioned that this is the special issue nursing outlook comma 58 in bracket 6 279-286 and here we Have to give the particular URL. So here we have mentioned the particular URL also. Here we have given the link of that particular URL. And actually, in the previous lecture, I have uh, 
mentioned that what is the difference between the DIO, sorry, uh, digital object identifier means DOI and the URL means uniform resource locator. Okay. So actually you have to keep in the mind that what is the difference between the DOI and the URL. So here you can see that this is the URL HTTP because uh, this URL is the start with the HTTP. So Halman, comma G producer and Jones G director in 2002, 84 sharing crossroad motion picture, United States Columbia pictures. So here you can see that this is included in a motion pictures. So this is the uh, this is about the motion pictures. J. Daniel in 2008, IRSC Fire Academy class 118 video. Actually, here we are including the reference of some video which is available on a YouTube. Okay. So we are using the big brackets. We are uh, given that this is the video and we are also providing the link of YouTube channel where the video is available. So this is all about the bracketed description. Now we will talk about the publishers. That means how we will citate the work of the publishers in our literature review. So a publisher is the person firm or a corporate body who is responsible for making a work available to the public. Actually, this is the definition from the NIS. So publisher information is usually found on the title page or a brochure of the title page of a book. Record the name, it appears in the publication. So if we will talk about the book, so omit words that designate a business purpose from the publisher name. Okay, such as corporate or such as limited and incorporation from publishers name. Retain the words books and press. The another guideline says that if more than one publisher is given, use the first one or the one that represents the home office if the information is given. Begin publisher information after the title and publisher information with the period. So here you can see that example, Sickler, comma R dot L and Cook, comma D dot 2009. The library instruction cookbook, American Library Association. If the publisher is the same as the author, then omit the publisher name. So here you can see that another, another example, like American Psychological Association. Okay, in the brackets, we are using when the statement or when the research study was conducted. So in a 2019, we are writing that crediting sources, citing references in text, publication manual of the American Psychological Association, sixth edition, comma, page 177. So here in this example, you can see that we are talking about, about the APA style sixth edition. Okay. And actually this all was cited in the APA style sixth edition and the page number is 177. So we are giving the credit to the American Psychological Association, that means APA. So we have to write crediting sources, Cologne, citing reference in text. Okay. And then we will include the particular name of the manual or a particular guide name. We have to also include the edition, that sixth edition or a seventh edition. Okay. So here, we are, uh, we are including the name of the edition, which is 6th edition. And we are also providing the page number 
the information is available on the page number 177 so this is all about the publishers now what about the updated urls and the dois as i mentioned that url means uniform resource locator uh, uniform resource uh, locators and the dio uh, means digital object identifier so here are the some examples uniform resource locators are used for items found on the first uh sorry found on the fresh web when no di doi is available urls are constantly changing moving or being deleted okay so researchers should check each url before submitting a paper to make sure it still links to the correct content here actually when you are submitting any kind of research papers or you are submitting any kind of literature review uh in your thesis or uh, particular uh, in any book or any book chapter so you have to make sure that the link is already available on the internet because if the link is uh, link uh, is already destroyed or link is already deleted so actually there is a no uh, use of your particular uh, your research study and there is a no use of your reference okay giving of the reference so next uh, so here is we have to take care about the particular url and about the particular dui the url is copied and pasted to the end of reference no retrieved form is necessary before pasting the url do not put a period after the url this may be mistaken for a part of the url urls should be linked if the reader is expected to be able to access the information on it maintain spacing and characters exactly for retrieval purpose if off by one character readers will not be able to retrieve the content so here you can the example slater comma c dot e in 2011 the academic and social value of ethnic study a research review national education association and here we will put the link of the pdf so here you can see that the url starts with the http and at the end dot pdf is included that means when we will click on this uh, particular doc document so the pdf will open so now we will discuss about the digital object identifier Okay, so here you can see that a digital object or identifier is a string of numbers and characters that allows a reader to locate content online using a persistent link. It is unique to each piece of information it is assigned, whether the print or electronic. If a DOI is assigned, you use it in your citation. if a doi is given then no other retrieval information is needed this is a true for any publication on the internet in print or in a database some dois may not have the http before it if it is only the alphanumeric string put it in a retrievable format by adding the prefix http or doi.org place a doi at the end of your citation in the following format here i am giving the following format okay so maintain spacing and characters exactly for a retrieval purposes if off by one character 
readers will not be able to retrieve the article. Try it out here. Copy and paste the following DOI into a search engine to see where it leads. So here you can see the example. Hats, comma, a dot j dot comma, d frame, e dot, sister, comma, b dot, and Macmillan. Actually, the author's name is Mac Macmillan M. But here I am again repeating the Macmillan is the last name of the author and M is the first name. And the research study was conducted in 2019. Across the great divide, how today's college students engage with news? First Monday, 24 in brackets at. And here we are putting the particular DOI link. Here you can see that DOI dot. Org. Here are the numeric, uh, numericals, some numericals are there and here you can see that fm.v. So here are the some letters also included. So this is the example of digital object identity file. So this is all about for the today's lecture. Uh, many of the research scholars have not submitted their first assignment. And now actually, uh, uh, this is the time to give the second assignment. The second assignment is all about the APA step. So the guidelines about the second assi assignment will be provided soon on the official WhatsApp group. And according to the guidelines, you have to submit the second assignment. Those who have submitted the first assignment, so I am very grateful. I am very grateful. I am very thankful that you put all your efforts to submit your first assignment. Thank you very much. On my personal uh, email inbox, I have found the many kind of uh, research proposals, and <clears throat> I appreciate it that you took lots of efforts. Uh, actually, I must say that you have put uh, lots of rigorous efforts to make the systematic research proposals. So, uh, but many of the research scholars till the date not submitted to me any kind of research proposal. And they have actually, they don't, uh, uh, they didn't submit any uh, assignment. So uh, please make sure that uh, you will provide me the assignments time by time. So that the uh, process of giving a uh, marking uh, to you will be actually uh, uh, in a systematic and a most appropriate, authentic manner. So please uh, provide all the assignments in a very systematic format. Okay, so uh, this is all about the lecture of the APA style. I hope that this lecture will help you to uh, write a literature review in a proper format. If you have any kind of issue related to the APA style, so please email me, please mark your query. And in the next class, when I will be present on a live mode, so I will definitely solve your queries with giving some more examples. So thank you very much for, uh, for your patience listening. Thank you.